What's up my fellow earthlings that inhabit this earth? Today we got a mission to get this forklift I believe it is. Me and my buddy Travis is going to run down to Portland and do something. It's going to be pretty cool. Check it out. Hey, hey, hey. What's that truck there? Is that what we're going to use for the uh, mission? No, it is not. It's not? No, the two of us are going to team in a truck without a coffin. Oh, that's terrible. What are you doing, buddy? You said I got a rat? Yeah. Oh, man, that's my microphone. <laughs> Hard at work. <laughs> check it out, check it out. Actually, we will be using this day cab right here to run this mission. So we're going to go ahead and hop in there and warm this bad boy up and go hop under a low boy and break the neck off and get to work on doing something over here. Ain't that truck a beauty? Woo-wee! Oh, turns out the keys are really in this bad mama jamma. Let's check it out. Let's check. Woo, it's a little tight in here. I guess it's going to be somewhere over here in one of these things. Looky, looky, we got a hooky. There it is. I was searching all this time and I've actually found it. Thank goodness. Let's plug that bad boy in, get her clicking, going. Make sure we're in neutral. Bow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that view, boys and girls. Pretty dirty, yeah? Well, right here, we got a couple of friends on the Dash Point Transportation family team out here. You're going to get help me hooked up. And then we're going to go over here to this other side so we could get uh, the trailer broke down. And we're going to load a forklift. Y'all come along, check it out. It's going to be pretty cool. Well, my fellow earthlings, as you can see, we're learning how to break this neck off. Y'all go ahead and stick along. As you can see from multiple times of practice, we were able to do that without ripping any hoses. And there goes that red forklift right there that we're going to get loaded up to drag around town and help load and offload some containers somewhere. Oh, looky, looky, we got Billy on the forklift loading it up. Yes, come on back. Nothing but teamwork around here. Nothing but teamwork, man. That's a lot of help when you can get some teamwork. Helps the day go by a lot faster. One, two, three. Skip a few. Let's get them on there, boys and girls. All right, let's see if this bad bill will go or start slipping. Might have to get a little bit of oomph on that. But it's all right, we got it going. Got the gentleman back there flagging us, controlling traffic. If you gotta go right, left, whichever way you wanna go, as long as you don't fall off right. Mm. Oh, looks like we're getting a little wet and sliding. Gonna have to get a little push or get a little head start right there so we can get up the speed bump. There we go, there we go. Look at the communication they're doing right there. Professionals. That's Mikey Mike right there. Big time professional there.
Well, there you have it, boys and girls. Detached or attached very nicely, smooth. All right, now what we'll do is go ahead and adjust this heavy forklift somewhere that way we can make it all legal and get it chained down for the job tomorrow. Well, it looks like the gentleman has got the fork taken off. Just leave it up here on the top deck and strap it down and do what we got to do to chain this bad by my gem down. It's like we're going to go ahead and get this thing on there straight and even. That way it's not hanging off the edges. You know what I'm saying? Keep it legal, boys and girls. Oh, yes. Looky, looky. The good old height pole. Going to go ahead and check the height of this thing right here. Make sure we legal. Don't want to get caught down the road and pay penalties or fees. Uh, ain't that right? What do we got there, Travi? Right now we're about 14.6. 14.6, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Airing up the tractor trailer. See if it changes. Yup, ride height is now fixed. Remember, boys and girls, always go through your equipment. Make sure everything's looking or setting properly. You don't want to get down the road and start breaking things. Well, look at this truck. Ain't she a beauty? I miss running this day cab. Ran it cross country before from here all the way down to Texas with some containers. It's pretty cool. Got to stay in hotels every night. That was fun. I wouldn't mind doing, again, doing it again either, you know? This thing's beautiful. Runs real good too. Not really a heavy haul truck. But it's cool, got them highway gears in it. It gets up and goes once you wind her up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's all I can say about that bad mamma jamma. Yes, sir. Well, check out this 359 over here also. Twin stick, true twin stick right there. Might be able to utilize that here soon. At least Travis will for sure. Woo wee. Ain't she a beauty. Four axle truck right there, boys and girls. Very nice, very nice. like the right eye ain't sitting properly so what we're gonna do is go ahead and push this thing forward actually get them forks pushed all the way up so they don't slide or adjust during transit and then we're gonna get some wooden blocks out here and ramps and get them back wheels popped up that way it'll bring the boom thingy majig down to legal height yes sir 14.3, we got it down to 14.3, ladies and gentlemen. Legal ride height. Bum, 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 bum. So there's what we did. We tilted that bad boy down and dropped it back down to the deck. But here was the magic trick that we used. Had some ramps that we built up because we've done this before in the past, I'm sure. Check it out. They even got handles on them bad boys. So you could lug them around like bazookas. Yeah, buddy. All right, now it's time to get to town. What's, what's going well, on over here? What are you doing? Well, I think we've finished up this Calamar forklift together with the team. Calamari? What? Yeah, octopus Calamari. squid sushi. <laughs> so how we chained this bad boy up right here, we just crossed it on over there with a couple of half inch chains and some there and right over there and came straight down. You know how we do that. So I, I'm guessing this thing is like around 55 to 70, no, 55 to 57,000 pounds. Yeah, that's a good guess, huh? We're gonna find out when we really weigh it. And then, you know, just because there's nowhere to chain up on these bad boys in the front, y'all know y'all know the deal if y'all uh, haul these around. We just put a couple of 3 8 chains right up there. 
that'll do the trick. As long as we don't got that bad boy rolling forward on us, we're all good. Sneak peek preview of this truck right here, man. Came from uh, Alaska. Yes, yes, it was on the Ice Road Truckers show. Ain't that a cool truck, though? Man, that is beautiful. Look at that. Five-inch spacing. Flat top on that Mama Gemma. Look at that big old deck right there. Whew. Love to get to utilize this thing. Yep. Looking good in there. Yeah. Look at these three folks right here. The brains of the operation. Yeah, the brains of this operation's right there, boys and girls. All right, that's enough of the day. Today, I was just playing around with this new toy that I got. Might start uploading to YouTube. What do y'all think about that? That'll be pretty fun. Check it out. Y'all take it easy. Stay blessed. Yeah.